Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here, and I want you to take a good hard look at my icons on my device here. And do you notice any specific icon missing? Any application missing? I'm going to open this folder. Um, just take a good hard look. Here's my final page, and I'm going to verify that this is the final page, so I'm not hiding anything here. Which application do you think is missing? If you guessed Newsstand, you are correct. And I'm going to show you how you can hide Newsstand along with other stock iOS apps without jailbreaking. And this is courtesy of Rage Master's website, RageHack. Now this is a website to where you can hide your stock iOS apps such as Stocks, Game Center, a lot of the useless applications that you cannot delete. Now I'm going to have the link to this site in the description below as well as right here on the screen. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you how you can hide your useless stock iOS apps. Okay now the applications that I want to remove I put on my final page here the Compass, Stocks, Game Center, Voice Memos, and Passbook. Those are the ones that I really don't use. So I'm going to go to the site. And again, I'll have this site in the description below. And I'll have it right here. So once you get to the site, you're going to select Hide Apps Without Jailbreaking. Once you get to this, you read the information just to be safe. And then you can select the application you want to hide. In this case, I'm going to go and select Game Center. Select that. Go ahead and select Install. And then you'll see a, an Unable to Download. That's fine. Go ahead and select Done. And now you can hold your finger down on it. And you can act like you're deleting the application from your device. But you're really not deleting it. You're, you're really hiding the application. And you can just go ahead and keep going through the applications you would like to hide. In this case, I'm going to select Stocks. It's going to act like it's downloading something. Select Done. And you can go ahead and hit the X to hide the application. So now that the applications are gone, what do you do? How do you get them back? Well, all you have to do is turn your device on, uh, turn your device off and then back on. So let's turn the device off and let's go ahead and turn it back on. Now again, do this at your own risk, but I wouldn't have any problem doing it. This is uh, a very safe procedure. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my passcode and there are the applications that I previously hid. Now they'll come back on in the front page, so you'll have to rearrange your applications accordingly. So that is how you can hide your stock iOS applications, especially the useless ones that I really wish Apple would allow you to delete and just have them in the App Store if you want them installed on your device. So again, this is Rage Master's site, RageHack. And it is a safe site, in my experience, to hide your stock iOS applications. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below and the subscribe button above. And again, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Paul's iOS Device, and like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Paul's iOS Help. And again, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And... You'll see new videos like this in your subscription box. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.